Alright, Assalamualaikum. Uh, I'm going to continue with our next presentation, uh, which is frames. So I hope you have already uh, done with the exercise for production rules, semantic networks, as well as the object attribute values. Now, what is frames? Frames is actually a variance to semantic networks, uh, which shows relationship amongst an attributes, as well as it it is able to show the inheritance between these attributes uh, sorry between the objects right the, this is actually a popular method to represent uh, facts uh, in an expert system and the relationship between facts will become a rules in the expert system okay now let's look at the basic frame design okay uh, this is the basic design whereby you have a frame name or the object names and then this object belong to which class so you have to have this class um, attributes and then we have properties okay you have property one property two and you have a list of properties as well as the values for each properties okay for frames uh, it can also hold multiple values and i will show you later in this lecture okay the example is bird Okay, uh, so this frame is actually a superclass by itself because the frame name is bird and the class name also bird. Okay, and it has a few properties which is color, its number of wings, flies, hungry and activities. And this is the list of values for each properties. Okay, uh, let's look at this. Um, example okay tweety uh, is a subclass of bird okay so previously you have bird here right okay and then the superclass is bird the subclass is tweety because in class we have named bird here and frame tweety is belong to the class bird so because it is a super subclass okay so it will inherit the properties that it gets from bird which is color eats number of wings flies hungry and activities and you can also introduce its own properties for example uh, this one is leaves okay so tweety lives in cage so we know that tweety is actually a pet okay so frame actually provide ways to manage the knowledge in slot that contain characteristic and attributes okay so there are two basic element, uh, elements which is a slot uh, that is a set of attributes that we see before and you also have a facet okay this is actually a kind of metadata to describe uh, the slot okay let's look further okay uh, that frames provide a way to limit the values for the attributes uh, so how to do this i will show you in the example after this and also provide information modularity so that easy for us to expand or maintain the system later on right because modularity the the best attributes of modularity is you can add or delete any module without affecting another modules okay so what is facet okay as i said facet is a metadata to describe the attributes so we have values Okay, there is a value for each uh, attributes or slot. Uh, we have, for example, just now for Tweety, number of wings, okay, hungry, um, colors, right? Type, so you can actually assign what is the type for that slot. Okay, whether it's numeric or characters or alphanumerics. What is the default value for uh, each slot or attributes? And also, what are the range of constraint for each slot? okay for example let's look at car okay this is a frame of car okay uh specialization or class is the land vehicle the body is steel okay and windows is glass okay and fuel remaining okay we have range here okay if you remember the facet okay we have this uh constraint of range right okay so you can actually put that in the frame itself so the range is either empty a quarter tank half tank or full okay so these are the values and you give an option what is the range right so this is how 
we actually limit the value for attributes. Okay, and then you can also give a default value for each slot. Okay, in this case, you put none or you put squ uh, quarter tank. Okay, the next example is type of racking for for that uh, car. Okay, so the range is feeder, bender, serious or total rack and default is none. Okay, we will look how we uh, expand these frames later. Okay, so this is the full uh, frames for car. Okay, uh, you can see that the frame name is car. Uh, specialization is land vehicle. The type is alphanumeric for the model. And the range for model is sedan, convertible, sport or wagon. And default, this car is a sedan. Okay, the body is steel, windows class. Mobility self-propelled, mobility mechanism has wheels, tires out of rubbers, fuel, type is alphanumeric, range gas line, diesel or propane, okay, and then the default is gas line. Number of seats, you have type numeric, the range is 1 until 9, default is 2, okay. So I hope by now you know uh, how to uh, limit okay the answers or the values for each slot okay and how to make sure that uh, the entry is correct okay type of entry is correct this is important because uh, we need to get a correct input in its database or knowledge base okay there are also other expansion of the facet okay we have if change and if needed or added okay so Facet, you have default value, right? Okay. So, you can also add if change. That means if you have a default value, if that default value is changed, what are the actions or what are the things is affected by that? Alright. And then, you also have if needed here. Okay. For example, uh, if the fuel remaining is needed, okay, we have to check the fuel range. Okay. Uh, example of if change type of rack by default is none so if we change the type of rack to feeder bender serious or total the action is we need to call the insurance agent right okay so this is example of an instance frame of a bird just now okay um, you have to look at the bird and this is the instant frame of the 3t uh, you have here also if change okay so flies if needed you have to check number of wings so if number of wings is less than two we says that uh, twitty walk okay if number of wings is equal to two then we say that flies is true okay activities also uh, depends on the hungry okay if hungry is true uh, that's mean the twitty is hungry then the value will change to make noise all right what is the disadvantages of frame representation it's not easy to represent the false fact or fallacy okay disjunction a or b okay and also quantification whether it's true for all or only part of okay so all these three okay uh, is best represented using logic okay which will be your next uh, lecture videos Okay, so based on this, okay, I hope uh, you can do the exercise that I give you. Okay, it's about your family. Uh, you should be able to create frames and instance frames of your family and describe uh, what are the inherited values or its own properties. Alright, thank you and good luck.